How do you divide using the partial quotients method? Here we have 569 divided by 4. The first thing I want to do is try to subtract groups of 4. Well, I'm going to start by multiplying 4, my divisor, times 100. I'm going to multiply times 100 because the number 569 has the largest place value in the hundreds place, which is the 5. So 4 times 100 is 400. 4 times 200 is 800. Well, I cannot subtract 800 from 569, but I can subtract 400. So over here on my division problem, I'm going to subtract 100 groups of 4, which is going to be 400. Now 569 subtract 400. 9 minus 0 is 9. 6 minus 0 is 6, and 5 minus 4 is 1. Now I cannot subtract any more groups of 100 out of my 169. So I'm going to come over here with my divisor and multiply times 10 because it's the next greatest place in my place value. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 20 is 80. 4 times 30 is 120. 4 times 40 is 160. And 4 times 50 is 200. Now 200 is too big. I can't subtract 200 from 169. But I can subtract 160 from 169. So I'm going to subtract 40 groups of 4, which is 160. And when I subtract, I'm going to have 9 left over. Now, I need to continue to take away groups of 4. Because I have 9, I can still subtract another group of 4. So I'm going to come down and multiply my divisor 4 times 1, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times 3 is 12. I cannot subtract 12 from 9, but I can subtract 8. So I'm going to subtract two groups of 4, which is 8. And 9 subtract 8 leaves me with 1 left over. Now I want to add up my digits over here, 100 plus 40 plus 2, to give me 142. And that's actually my quotient, my answer, which goes up here at the top. And the 1 ends up being my remainder. Let's take a look at another problem. Here I have 7,953 divided by 6. With this number, the 7 is in the greatest place value, which is 1,000. So I'm going to start by multiplying 6 times 1,000, which equals 6,000. Then 6 times 2,000, which equals 12,000. Now 12,000 is too much to subtract from 7,953, so I'm going to use the 6,000. So I'm going to take away 1,000 groups of 6, which is 6,000. When I subtract, 3 minus 0 is 3, 5 minus 0 is 5, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 7 minus 6 is 1. Now I can't take away any more groups of 1,000. So I'm going to multiply 6 times 100, which is 600. Now I have 1,953, so I can certainly subtract 600. I need to keep going. 6 times 200 is 1,200. 6 times 300 is 1,800. And 6 times 400 is 2400. Now I cannot subtract 2400 from 1953, but I can subtract 1800. So I want to subtract 300 groups of 6, which is 1800. 3 minus 0 is 3, 5 minus 0 is 5, 9 minus 8 is 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Now I'm going to take my divisor again and multiply it by tens. 
6 times 10 is 60. 6 times 20 is 120. 6 times 30 is 180. I cannot subtract 180 from 153, but I can subtract 120. So I'm going to subtract 20 groups of 6, which is 120. 3 minus 0 is 3, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, I can still subtract groups of 6 from 33, so I need to come down and write my multiplication facts by 1's. So 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36. So 36 is too much, but I can subtract 30. So I want to subtract 5 groups of 6, which is 30. 3 minus 0 is 3, and 3 minus 3 is nothing. Now, I've got 3. My divisor is 6. I cannot take away another group of 6. Now I want to add all my partial quotients. So I'm going to add 1,000 plus 300 plus 20 plus 5, which is going to give me 1,320. That's my quotient, which goes up here, 1,325, with a remainder of 3. And that is how you do division with partial quotients.